All right, let's game. All right, let's go. By the way, if this was Karismai, we would oh, ironically win this game. Six, six, thank you for that prime. Appreciate that so much. Welcome to the best hand club. And if you haven't already, make sure to join up on Discord. Discord.gg slash Karismai. Get your own special role. And perks as a sub. Now Twitch chat. Same thing as last game. Every death equals one sub. So if you guys want a chance to win a free sub, type one in the chat. Let's get a good game going. We're slowly climbing out of low. We're playing an Emerald MMR now, boys. working out. Yeah, I have been. I has been. Alright. Hey, okay, we're gonna just do a full clear towards bot. See? Look, guys, the same play style, the same everything, from silver all the way to faster. We're gonna do the same clear, same build, same place same play style. But we're always gonna full clear towards bot. And notice, I'm not looking at my lanes. I'm freaking Lock Cam Andy right now. I'm Lock Cam Andy. And I'm only doing this for all my lower elo players that want to improve. Obviously, I look at my, my, my laners a lot. But that's just because I play differently. And I'll explain the difference between Master and Challenger when I get there. But right now, I'm just showing you the simplicity of how you play. You know, Master this full clear, both sides. I'm going to have a pathing guide uploaded Either Tuesday or Wednesday, guys. So I literally have a video to show you how to do every path and why and when you should do it. So on your fifth camp, second to last camp, you're gonna start looking at the lanes. Okay, is it pushing in? Then you can't gank. If it's pushing out, you look for the gank. Simple as that. And this guy decided to full clear up, and I still don't get it. I'm playing an emerald. This is like a uh, semi-high elo, right? Like mid elo. And people still full clear up. Like, I don't, I don't know why. Like, you should never full clear up. That's what I'm telling you. If you guys want to win more games, do something as simple as just full clear towards bot. Full clear towards bot. Do it fast. Do it efficiently. You're going to see a big difference. I'm not kidding you. And now, look, if there's a gank bot. I mean, see, there's more minions coming in. So there's going to be a gankable opportunity in bot. I'll, I'll stick around. But around, like, 420 is when my crits are going to spawn, so I don't want to overstay too long. Like, if I'm staying, like, a minute, that's horrible. Maybe, like, 10, 20 seconds, look for a gank. Like, right now, I don't even need to wait that long. Oh, wait, Ekram's over here. What? Okay, I was not expecting that. Well, if he doesn't, like, hard chase me, I could double scuttle him. Yeah, if, yeah, if this happens, you can double scuttle. Oh, no! No! I mean, she got a kill, but I lost my jungle, bud. I have chosen you. I can see it. All yours. I'm gonna reset. Alright, time for another full clip. All right. See, sometimes you have your laners lose your jungle. That's why it's important not to tilt. You just gotta play the game out. You guys, you never know. This is like a losing position because Hecarim's so much more ahead of me, and he snowballs better than me. But he has to play the snowball very well. I but knows how to play the snowball very well. That's why it's like very easy not to tilt once you understand how difficult it really is to like actually hard just like make the enemies not have a chance of winning. Because there's always opportunities to win. Even up until Challenger, like, people throw games and make silly plays and do ints. Oh. So, I mean, whether you win or lose, tilting never will help you. What will be I assume this guy with a big advantage is going to play for grubs. There he is. 
There he is, playing for the grubs. And I'll either look for the bot gank or the dragon. Now keep in mind, this is actually one of the hardest dragons to do, so it might be a little bit uh, possible. We'll see. If you're ever going to look for a ganked bot, I, have I want to go through this quick. I want to go around and go in the dragon pit. One time for jungle camps. Buffs are five minutes. There's apps that'll tell you that too, but I just do it by memory because I'm an oldie. Still rock and roll to be. Bomba. Yes, not bad. Uh, I don't see Hecarim up in the grubs right now. So he just took one and ran away. Yeah, I was gonna say he's probably gonna be a run buff. So this is not a game where I'm gonna like prioritize soloing the drag or something. Because truthfully, I'm not gonna be able to. Oh, he's got no mana. That's why I can't. That's fine though. I got orbs. He might get the dragon himself right now, but I have to come take drag unless he gets the leash. I can be able to. Do it. Want to get challenger? Sell your life to the game? Yeah, hundred percent. But if you want to get master, anybody can do that. Like I said, all you need to play is like ten to fifteen games a week. Maybe that's uh, too much for some people, but I think that's pretty obtainable. I think Masters is like a pretty big accomplishment too. Like that's a lot of like status. That's a lot of like oh, that's a lot of respect. I, I I'd respect somebody if they told me they were Masters. Now, I have a high elo role in my Discord, literally just Masters Plus, and a lot of the people aren't challenger. They're just like Masters GM. Yeah. They're pretty wise. They're pretty good at the game. I respect for them. Oh. Oh, he did do the dragon. Probably invade his top side right now. As much as I do want to play for bot side, I think this is like a little adaptation I could do. Oh wait, what the hell? He died to a camp. From a young age to what the kiappa? Well, let me see the state of bot lane right now. Actually, no, it's probably is smarter just aim for bot. I just want the grubs as if I'm gonna take those. Two grubs have zero value to me. Why would I ever take those? Even if it's three grub, it means nothing. Emerald feels like gold. I could definitely notice, like, Emerald is like a mix between players who got lucky that climbed Emerald, and it's a good mix of players that are like diamond level that are just like stuck. That's what Emerald feels like. That's that's Emerald in a nutshell to me. Okay, we're gonna watch bot here. If they stop the reset, we could have to look at this, because they're both no some C, so looking to like jump off my bot side camps. I always try to like make sure I do all my top side camps, but bot side camps I can skip to look for the gank. I'm gonna look for the E on me. Oh. I'll have to dodge it. And hopefully my team lets me get the kill, because I need orbs. Yes. Yeah, but see, that's usually the uh, method in hand, is you want to clear all your top side, that way you don't have to worry about getting invaded, and then you skip your bot side camps if there's a gankable opportunity. From a smurf. Uh, I don't think so, but it just is doing the same method of play that I'm using, really. But he, he's putting emphasis on the grubs, as you can see. He had a big 2 0 advantage. He could be doing what I'm doing. He could be just putting pressure in lanes, putting pressure on camps, putting pressure on dragon. I mean, he did take dragon, which is good. That was a good play, actually, by him. That was actually, like, the, the whole, like, early two kills, dragon, everything, that was all good. That was that was well played. Like, I'd, I'd give respect to that. But everything else is just sloppy. See, that's the difference between, like, a challenger player and a master player is challenger players aren't going to be making any sloppy plays. All their decision making is as best as possible. Like, the fact that I knew TF was here, it's kind of predetermined because if you count out that he ulted bot, or he ulted mid, and he hasn't got bot, and high elo, see, that's, that's, a, that's a play in a challenger game. A, the enemy team would know I'm there, they would know I'm camping that wall, and they would walk around. See, in this elo, they don't factor where I'm in. Dude, that's that's like a huge difference that high players do is we're always factoring what the enemies are doing in our head and what they're gonna do like hecarim's gonna go top maybe look at my top side and then it's gonna go back bot so i don't have enough time to really take three camps i have enough time to take two and look for a gank right and understand that if he goes immediately you know bot lane then he'll be here in like again we gotta make this play asap like wait out this gold card and 
Oh, well, it actually reached me. Oh! Now, going for the scuttle is a little bit of greed, but in my opinion, I mean, if Hecarim is being illogical, he's gonna go for the uh, kill on Kaisa instead. <gasps> Hey, respect to the Hecarim. That's actually smart. So Emerald is when players start to be like a little bit smarter. Okay. Yeah, I'm, it's, I'm glad to see this. I'm learning just as much as you guys are learning. Because I don't really know like what, where the skill curve is. Wow. That was actually a really smart play. But is he smurfing? Is this really an Emerald jungler? Because that was really smart. The fact that he went for me instead of the Kaisa there, because I thought he'd go for Krogs and wrap around. Oh no, actually no, that makes sense, because he went to the Raptors to see if they were up, and then they weren't, and then I guess, I guess he just, yeah, because he invaded me too. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm impressed, dude, this guy's smart. He might, he might be just like a Diamond Smurf or something, or Massey Smurf, you know? He's as it was meant. Yeah, because see, like, you know what I mean? Like some players are like, they got lucky getting here and some players are like actually smart. Uh, flashing away from a cane whose ulti is like a range. I just got a flash. It's CD. I want to check this game to see if this guy's actually a smurf or not. Cause I'm actually like, Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh wait, no, that was last game. I don't know why it's showing me last game. I want to see this game. Oh wait, he invaded my top side. Okay. Uh, we should kill the Akram here. Okay, let's wrap it around. I didn't get the speed up for the LT. Oh, good. Getting all my top set. Getting Rift. Rift would be kind of weird if he did that. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's just doing weird stuff. Rift doesn't, doesn't really do much if you have like losing bot. Maybe he'll make a big play with it. I don't know. Yeah, let me see. Oh wait, what? I didn't realize. That was alt tab. That's why you take your top side before going bot. No fundamental things. Wait, what? Why do you not alt? I guess I'm gonna die for this, but ah, I die anyway. Press R like I thought he would. My bad. It's sad because if my E was up, I would have been able to live. I would have healed. Could have maybe played that a little bit faster where I didn't take as much damage, but that's okay. Oh, look to get that put down on top too. 
The only reason I, I full sense that Hecarim was because him overextending my jungle without ulti, knowing that I have ulti advantage over him means that I can win that. Also, I, I thought it'd be pretty free because he would just way overextend it and I could just ulti him at any point. But some reason I set the ult there, but that's okay. I never really play a game like the, uh, what do you call it? The intention of getting carried, like my teammates doing anything to carry me. I usually just play games with the intention of carrying, so if they make mistakes, it's whatever. The reaping begins he hasn't farmed in like a long early game, but without a good mid game, you need to like make sure you're actually getting your camps. And then like understanding when to invade and when not to invade is just counting that in BCS. Like saying that he was at 104 and then he went to fight and he's still at 104 after all that time in top lane. I can just hard invade his bot side and I can look for a pop play. So if he invades my top side, he's already behind because now I'm getting a, a kill on Zyra here as well. Help at least. I don't know, Zyra's kind of a... Every I'm probably gonna ult just because I don't really trust my Zillion to ult me. Thank you. He did ult me, sweet. I don't think he would ult me if I didn't spam ping him, I'm not gonna lie to you. Cause he probably wouldn't have thought that I could actually like, create that much distance. That much space. That's a bit of a sandwich. He wasn't paying attention to Tristana there, so that's just lack of awareness. That's why I always look at the map whenever I'm like gonna look for a fight or look for a play. So like I, w I saw Yoni was in mid, so I was like, okay, we can stay and keep this play alive. So that's just like a little thing as well. A lot of l little things that add up that just like keep your pain a little bit like. You know. just, it's a, it's way, just a little bit less sloppy, you know. Unironically, win this game. Maybe Jay, there's three sub. We look for a this. I don't think this guy is actually Chinese. Not every battle is a fight. I was gonna kill this GP for free, but I just realized that my set is probably not gonna give me anything to work with. Like genuinely, I don't think so. It's better not. That, that's you have to understand. You as a jungler have to be like aware enough to understand who you can and can't play off of. And this guy, no, I'm not trying to flame him. He just couldn't even press R on somebody who was right in front of his face. Oh, I'm not gonna trust him in a, a a pretty dicey situation against a champ like GP that has really easy access to OP itemization. And we'll get Ross on the challenger. I'll do that after Blue on the challenger. It will be a little bit hard, but I like things a little bit hard. Not too hard, but a little bit. Yeah. Nice job, Kaisa. What the hell? Oh, I missed my W. I'm trolling. Let's kill this rift. See, I'm not trying to like overset anything here. I'm just trying to be like very patient. Now we got like two kills. We get a free dragon and we can the rift play. So sometimes it's all about playing controlled. I remember the first time I saw that bear thing, it actually legitimately scared me because I, I didn't know what it was and it made that noise. The Chinese are right, that Korean? Oh. Um. Oh yeah, you're right, it is. Oh, my bad. I don't like that it. Uh, no, it's Hecram, sorry. I mixed them up. Hecram's the one whose name is Chinese. My bad, my bad. <laughs> I accidentally mixed them up. Gotta put a ward on the Baron, because the only way that they could win is if they sneak the Baron. And they actually do have a really good comp for Baron, because GP, crit user, Yoni, crit user, Zyra, Leandris. Literally everything I mentioned earlier about what is, like, fast for taking Barons. Uh, Go 
handsome and talented. Thank you, Angela. Have a good day, my boy. Yes. I'll look for a player. Yeah, it's kind of an early as Hecram had. The thing about like being a really good player, it's a constant, right? Like it's a constant. You can't just make a couple good plays and then be a good player. He did make really good plays though. Like he made very coherent and cohesive uh, decision making. Yeah, he, he was definitely like I have a lot of respect to this player. Honestly, that was very impressive to me. For like an Emerald game, I was like, what the hell? This guy's smart as heck. If he, if he keeps playing like that, he can definitely hit Masters. He just need to like work on his mid game. Really, his mid like like I said, he wasn't really farming. He just stopped farming. Give me all the free rain and just take all this camps like it's good to play aggressive on the map when you have an advantage but at the same time you need to make sure that you're not letting the enemy get their own advantages right it's kind of the strength of being like a good solo carry is not only getting a lot and taking a lot but also denying a lot right that makes sense yeah okay, anybody I go uh, BF sword. So the reason why I wouldn't be getting a fourth lethality item here, like a, a damage item, like a edge of night or serpents, probably serpents, for extra damage, because when you have a 1k bounty, you kind of want to put a little bit of safety on that 1k bounty. So getting it to be able to be able, because even though serpents would give me a lot of damage, I already one shot everybody into one shot. So I don't need more damage if you already have enough damage to one shot people. That's not good. Uh, exactly what I was talking about. We'll just go do the Baron, right? Bring my team. Let's see if they listen to the Silo. Oh, not really. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, no, they are. They are. Yeah, it's only really gold and below, I noticed. People don't listen to pings. Yeah, once you get, like, Plat Emerald, they actually start listening to your pings. Like, if you ping Baron, they'll actually listen. But gold and below, dude, they never listen to me. I would ping them. I like I said earlier, dude. I, I, anybody who's gold or below could probably like vouch for me here. They would literally like walk past me, go to their lane to farm. But I'm like pinging Baron. I'm like spam pinging. Like guys, it's free. There, four of them are dead. Let's get Baron. Let's do Baron. And they just would not listen. I don't know why. But fortunately, Platinum above definitely uh listen. You'll notice the more and more I climb throughout the series, it's a more and more cooperative. Whether people want to believe it or not, the game is actually a team game. It's kind of funny because I'm a really good team player, even though my entire playstyle is selfish and for myself. Because the more I work on myself, the more I can do for others. Ah, makes sense, doesn't it? You guys get that one? Uh, uh. I don't want to work on getting to that side right here. That last tickle. Nice. Yeah, see, that's what an AoE assassin looks like. Try and kill both at the same time. This is a good game. I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely getting impressed throughout the series. This is definitely one of the more um, enlightening games. Well. Oh. GG's. GG's. I probably would have went like GA Serpent if you were to win the last two of them. The best solo care drunks? Kane!